So in the beginning, I said I was going to make this awesome way of measuring um, fluid levels. And we had those strips of uh, water sensing tape and I was going to, and I installed them. I think we, we may have shown that or something. I'm not sure if we did or not, but I'll show it to you guys. And uh, they failed. One of them failed almost immediately. And they were super affected by temperature. And there's all sorts of reasons why it just wasn't um, a good system. One of them completely failed and that was our fresh water one. So I'm like, well, we got to get rid of that. So we're gonna have to come up with something else. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna science the hell out of this. And I went online and I'm like, is there's gotta be something. I found something called the sea level two. And that also uses capacitance to measure uh, water depth. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel for this. They have a really nice uh, way of, of displaying everything like that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to buy that. So that's what we did. And that's what we're going to install today. So let's go do that. This is the version of the sea level uh, tank monitoring system that we got. It, they have multiple versions of this display because you may have a black, a gray, a fresh, a propane tank you want to measure, all sorts of stuff like that. So all we got, since we have fresh water and what we're calling our gray tank, but it's really a black tank, um, our black water tank, and then it has a little pump switch for us also. So this is a simple version. This is the sensor you can cut be at the you can kind of see here the graduations in between you can cut this to fit it automatically um recalibrates it automatically recalibrates based on how long this thing is so our tank is about 11 inches tall i think this is like what is this 12 14 inches something like that that's well, exactly 12 inches and we're going to cut this to be just above where the the water outlet is. So uh, if we cut it here, it would be just the right all the way top to bottom, but you wanna measure to the top of the outlet of your water to be safe. So we're gonna cut this and then we're gonna tape it onto the side. It actually has a self-adhesive here, but we're gonna tape it on for testing. We're gonna do that both for our fresh tank and our black tank. The last thing we have to do is up here and this is something that like nobody covers so pay attention if you're going to use this because it's really cool um you see these little green tabs sticking up here in between the the paper that pulls off here so you can see the tabs there and what you do is you snip off the tab based on which tank this is going to so there's a tab for gray so if you're using gray tank you'd snip that off a black tank snip that off and that corresponds to what buttons you have on here this is pre-programmed to look for these so if i push this it's looking for the sensor that has that tab cut off for the black tank it's really simple this is a extremely simple install you run wires and if you already have an existing rv this is even easier because the wires for your pre-existing archaic water monitoring system you can just use those but we had to run wires to my super fancy non-working water measuring system in fact let's show how bad it's working this is how bad it's working this is a programming error right here actually so um however it was showing like uh you know there was like full tank it was showing 50 percent. it just went it went downhill really badly for the great for the freshwater tank you don't cut anything. So this one's gonna be really easy to install. But we are gonna just tape it on and then use the existing wires from my last watering system. Oh, we gotta cut this. So for the cutting process here, let's hold it up to the window where you can see the, there's all these graduated lines here. It's important that you cut on those lines and not just across something. So on this one here, I'm cutting across there. What is that measured for? For the tank back here. I'd already measured it. So one of the other precautions that they talk about in installing this is that um, you want these things to be two inches away from metal. So luckily 
we are going to be two inches away from metal mounting it over here. Our water outlet is right there, if you can see it. And so I wanted the bottom of this to be above that. So by putting it right here, we are above that. And then it needs to be down just slightly like this. So this is where this is gonna go. And this is just for, just for testing. We'll, we'll mount it properly when we're done. All right, so right about there. I'm gonna fall. So another thing they talk about is the directions the wires need to come off the top of this sender right here. You can already, you already tell they're kind of coming off to the right. They really want you to make it come off to the right for some reason. They don't go into detail as to why, but that's the way we're doing it. There's my fancy system all pulled out. Not so fancy anymore. Yeah, so sad. 12 foot power is the red, black is ground, and the blue is tank center. So it's a century red, black, and blue. So I like to use heat shrink tubing on everything because it uh, makes for a much cleaner install when you do it that way. Seems like a good idea. It does. I can plug in to the bus. I, I just still get so much pleasure from that. <laughs> it just never gets old. Just something so simple as like using the things you built. It's one yeah. thing to like, you know, I mean, I get it. People will get a lot of satisfaction from art. I'm not very artsy. And so if I built something art and hung it on the wall, I'm like, okay, that's cool. But when I build something it's and useful. then I get to, and I'm using it all the time and I find it's like extremely useful. I'm like, that's what yeah, I'm talking about right that's there. That's satisfying. That's very satisfying. I guess I would be the more artistic of the, of the two of us, although I never considered myself artistic, but creative. Yes. Creative I can go with. You're just the pragmatic guy. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> and then we'll take the black one, which is also power. So white is going to be our black in this case. I'm glad you know what you're doing because from the bystander perspective, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that. Carol, I'm going to put the black one on the white one in this case. I'm like, okay, whatever. You just lost me. But <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've decided the white wires are ground wire throughout the sea level measuring system since I don't have a black one. Gotcha. And then we'll plug it in and test the water level. Already? Yeah. So that's why I said this is super easy to install. I haven't actually hooked up back there yet, so I do have to do that still. Hey. Open, open. Okay. So that means it's not hooked up. So it works, that part, anyway. Let's go to the back. So here's our old water leveling measure. These were $50 each, so I'm super disappointed that they worked so poorly. But it was a total failure. Total failure. So is this the second attempt or third attempt at water level measuring? What we're doing right now is the third attempt. Oh my gosh. This was the first attempt, which just on paper looked great. And it worked initially, and then it just started not working more and more. Failed. And then our second attempt uh, just failed at the in the testing phase. I went and looked for other higher end sending units and then finally I was like, you know what, uh, done. And you just got this instead? Yeah. This was pretty reasonable. What did we pay, like 180 bucks for this or something like that? I don't know. I think it was like 180 bucks. It you was pretty reasonable. Me. That'll tell you so you don't freak out. Exactly. <laughs> I would be like, what? We can go back there and look at it with our own eyes for free. <laughs> That's my girl. What? I'm a penny pincher. It's a good thing. It is a good thing. <laughs> While we're doing this, we can fix our problem. Which is? The, okay, so 
the, the early tank monitoring system with the measuring tape there used that tube in order to accommodate this big long thing that you can't cut down, okay? Uh -huh. and this one inside here, and right down, right? Well, in order for this to allow water to get up in there, it needed to vent at the top. Well, that induced a different problem, and that problem was whenever the pump would turn on, it would start sucking water out of the tank here, but also would suck from this side since there was a vent. This side was easier to get water out of and it induced air into the line, causing all of our things to spit like that. So oh. you turn on it. <laughs> and so the way to get rid of that problem is to actually snip this off and uh, put this cap on and seal it up for good. Wow, that doesn't smell good. No, yeah, never does. <laughs> I swear I was standing right here when I cut it, wouldn't I? Uh, it, it's it, in there in the It means box. nothing. You are a professional loser. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so in this case here, our switch on here says black. If I were to cut off gray, then this wouldn't see it. So we have to cut off the black one. And on here, I don't know if you can see it in the video or not. But you can see it says black, top, gray. Oh, in between on the green so this part. Is black, top, and gray. Yeah. So if we cut this tab off here, there's a wire that goes it all the way around, and we're just breaking a connection. So we're cutting the black tab off. In there so now this is now a black sensor if you don't cut any of them it defaults to fresh now we need to go under the bus and measure how tall this thing is and then come back and cut this again can I just bring the scissors yeah why not and the tape actually we've got an orange thing going on here yeah we do okay so right here these two are tied together. You can see this pipe right here and they're tied together and then it comes out to here. So if this fills up, this fills up. Can you see those? No. Uh. So these two tanks are tied together right here. Initially, these were gonna be separate because Carrie wanted a flushing toilet. Then she thankfully changed her mind, but not till after these were installed. So these are tied together to make one tank. And so if, if any water gets in this, the level of this will match the level of this and then it all drains out over here okay so this will be our uh level measurement now the one of the problems we had here is i put this piece of metal in here to keep this in i'm gonna have to cut this because this can't have any metal within two inches of it it's really what? important so I have to cut this strap right here. It's okay, it won't fall out because it has tabs at the end and it can't fall out. So, and then this, the side rail is so incredibly buff, I overbuilt it so it won't bend out and fall out or anything. So I'm not really worried yeah, about that. Yeah, but cutting through it, what if you cut into our tank? I better be really careful. You better be really, really careful. Really, really careful. Okay, so we're gonna cut on this one right here. These scissors, I've had it. Okay, so. Those were my bacon scissors. You got those out of the kitchen drawer. <laughs> no, I actually got them out of the dishwasher. Because we've had BLTs recently. Yeah. Do you guys do this? Do you use, you know how when you're cooking bacon and then it like curls up in the pan and it won't lay down flat? Oh like God. right in the spots where it's curling, you just snip it with a pair of kitchen scissors and then they lay down flat while the bacon's cooking. It's my one and only kitchen tip. <laughs> not really, that's not my only kitchen tip, is it? I give you kitchen tips all the time. You're like, shut up, let me do it my way. She does, oh my God. Mike doesn't know anything about cooking. Except my food is delicious. Whatever, he makes stir fry for breakfast freak no i'm not <laughs> tied to social norms like you are <laughs> we were looking for old one eye we oh. found him old one eye can get the job done he can. he's tough he knows his stuff
Got it. Okay, so one of the requirements of this is the wire comes off this direction over here. All right, so the black tank should be empty. Zero percent. Fresh water has eight percent in it. That's about right. Okay. So it's working. Yeah, it's working. Yay! It's very simple. We have a water system, finally! Third time's a charm! Right. After all that careful cutting and painting, <laughs> it's a shame. There's a, well, the painting's not going to suffer, but the... No, but I mean, you painted on the inside of that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was a lot of work to get that. Yeah, you got it all nice. Now you're just... It goes off. Oh, you just have to yeah, push you it can, to you can, If you do that, it'll stay on for five minutes. See that little dot? Yeah. So, then we have a battery monitor. That is cool. Another battery monitor. We have like one, two, three, four, five battery monitors in the bus. Well, I think we should always know the status of our batteries. Yes. Not by... It's just how it worked out, actually. It was strange. Everything has the option to have a battery monitor also. Well, like our little our little plugs right here just happen to have a battery monitor with it. Oh, yeah. I forgot so, about those. The only one we should rely on is this one, though, here. This is our inverter. Shows what's going on in the inverter. Input voltage, because we're plugged in, 120 volts. 120 volts out. Battery voltage, 30.9. Output load, noth, nothing. So, and then we have our fresh water, black water. And there you have it. Pretty easy. One more step after this, and that is we need to uh, permanently affix those, but we need to wash them. Wash the tank with alcohol or something. Okay. Get one shot. Get it right. Very nice. There we go. All right. Okay. Now we gotta do the same thing to the outside. And you could get it two, two inches away from the metal over there? Yeah. So this doesn't exactly, I couldn't cut it to exactly fit because you have to cut on the lines, right? So if you look at it, it's too short, right? Well, I would rather know I was closer to full than closer to empty on my black tank. Does that make sense? Right. So you want it up here. This part here is kind of your freebie. It's going to measure zero until it gets to there and that's okay but you don't want to be down here. And be unable to measure when it's getting too full. Yeah, then you're gonna be like, well, I have an inch more. And the next thing you know, your poop's backing up in your shower. Yeah. And that's what you're trying to avoid. <clears throat> there we go. Easy peasy. Yep. Yeah. self adhesy <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. I know. <laughs> okay, so now we really do need the flex seal. What are you doing with this, you might ask? Well, since this thing is, doesn't look like it's sealed, it might be sealed for moisture, but I don't trust it. So I'm going to spray some flex seal onto the strip. He's going rogue, you guys. I don't, it might work, it might not work. What if it ruins it? 
could ruin it. What do you think? God, who knows? Who knows? What evil looks in the can of spray, what is it called? Flex Seal. Flex Seal. And there it is, it's now Flex Sealed. That was quick, you barely touched it. Yeah, well, it I goes barely. on really thick, so. It'll be interesting, let's go test it. Well, there it is, it works. Black is reporting zero, fresh is reporting eight again. Batteries, 13.5. Six. Oh, six, do I have my glasses on? Yes. High five! That was weak. <laughs> now he's laying down on the job, you guys. Show us what you did. Okay. This was part of our water measurement. Our previous water measurement device. Right, and it was in here like this. And then this piece was here replacing that. So, oh, okay. so you just replaced it with a cork. Right. We were going to put a cap on this, but I was like, wait a minute. Let's just get another corner. So do me a favor. You could turn the water on. Sure. Good water pressure. And no spitting. That was a really satisfying project because it was just, it was easier than I thought it was going to be. Like I thought we we're going to spend a few hours on it. We only spent like couple minutes on it 45 minutes or so 45 minutes it's super easy especially if you have your tanks already installed you just go put this thing on the side and run your wires it's and you probably already have wires for tanks if you don't have uh, tank measurement in your bus this is the way to go to get your tank measurement installed super fast and super easy so I really encourage you to do that that way you don't have to like go move your bed to see because most people have their tanks under their bed to go move your bed to see how much water you have yeah it's not that big a hassle but once you, you have this it. installed you go click oh we got water right <laughs> we're filling that's where it comes in If you push the button two times, a little dot comes on, it means it stays on for five minutes. So we get roughly a 4% based on the length of it, a 4% uh, accuracy. If your tanks are vertical, you can get much better than that. Better accuracy because the strip is longer? Yeah. I don't know what the refresh rate is, but... Uh, oh, I just went. Three. I'm really satisfied with this. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. This is really nice to have. Well, it took us three times to finally get it right, but we got there. Yeah, that's true. Well, it's kind of nice to be able to like sit here and you know know what it's gonna like when it's getting close to being full. Because you're not gonna when the bed's there, you're not gonna really have a easy sight picture of yeah, what the water is going to be at. Even if you open up the little cupboard door, it's still going to be dark in there. Yeah. Oh, Mama Sita, the people want to see you. They want to see how spoiled you are in this bus. You're becoming a bus kitty already, huh? Mm-hmm. 96. You better be ready. 100! That's our hundred percent, I guess. How is it? Pretty full. That's very full. <laughs> and the only reason to get that full because I added that weird vent right there on top. And you just can't, you can't, uh, you can't fill it up without that. To let the air escape? Yeah. It's hard to get a hold of. Okay, so we're about to add a wire to this little, our little water level controller that will enable us to turn up our pump from this switch here. That's right. Okay. Okay. Let's cover. 
Here he is after the strippers again. And put the fuse back in. Ah, oh, the fuse. It's going to make a difference, I suppose. There it is. I don't have the pump where the light comes on. I think it's this one. Yeah, since it's the last one. So, all the pressure, pressure out. goes out of the system. Watch over here. And now, it comes back on. Nice. There we go. And we got a little indicator of the pump's on. Okay. So, That's if it. I ever need to nice. shut off the pump, this yes. is the location. So, if there's ever some catastrophic failure in the lines in some way, if I do wash, if I do laundry until yeah. it sucks us down to a level that's too low and it causes the pump to stay on, then I can shut it off. Yes. But I am somewhat embarrassed of the state of the wiring in here. I was just going to say, our electrical closet is out of control. Yeah. Now. I'll just come back and do a big cleanup of all this stuff and it'll be wonderful. But we're done. Good for job. today. We're done for every day. High five, hell of a job. Hell of a job, you. Well, you were here, I had to help. All I did was hold the camera. <laughs> I like having the indicator light working. That's, uh, I don't know. It's kind of like icing on the cake. It's not necessary. You can look up there, it's on. Right. You can go up there and turn it off. At least you can just glance, is my pump on? Yeah. You know, so for the most part, it's this there if we have a, you want this, this is important. If uh, you have a catastrophic failure in your pipes, all of a sudden you see water leaking everywhere. Gushing. Turn the pumps off. Like that's the first thing you need to do. Unless you're on city water, in that case, make that go away. And then, uh, then you need to go identify the problem. So that's, uh, but that's a really good one right there. One step closer. Yeah, no, I think the shut off part is the important part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Cool beans. Get a heck of a job. All right, that's it. We're done for a day. Everybody, take the rest of the day off. Um, let's see if we can get a little early tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Actually, I have to go to work tomorrow. Be back in two days. I might work on the bus. We got something special planned for you guys coming up. We're doing something really cool that virtually I don't think anybody's done. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but it's pretty cool. I don't even know what you're talking about. It has to do with the outside of the bus and, and the things we're gonna add to it. That was a heck of a hint. That's all. That's all you guys get. Sorry. Sorry. Can't give away everything. <laughs>